If you have been in the new launch market looking for your next home or investment, you might feel rather sian at the current situation whereby most of the developments are almost fully sold and the balance units might not be so ideal. Well, fret not as I would like to introduce these 5 exciting launches you should look out for in the second half of this year. We have 2 in the OCR, 2 in the RCR and 1 in the CCR, so something for everyone. For each development, I'll be sharing more details on the project, expected launch price, as well as one thing I like and don't like about the development. Let's go! First up, we have Amokyo 1. As the name suggests, this development is located along Amokyo Avenue 1, which falls under the outside central region. It is a short 5 minutes walk to the Mayflower MRT station on the Thompson East Coast Line and within 1 km to both CHIJ St. Nicholas Girls School and Ai Tong School. For nature lovers, Amokyo 1 is within close proximity to the Bishan Amokyo Park and the Lower Pierce Reservoir Park. The project is a mid-sized development with around 370 units developed by YOL, which is a reputable developer with extensive track record. With regard to the expected launch price, we think it will be in the range of 2,000 to 2,200 per square feet, given that the estimated break-even price for the developer is around 1,800 per square feet. Now, I really like the location because it is so connected by public transport, but at the same time, very near to nature. However, 2,000 to 2,200 per square feet is definitely on the high side, for an OCR development. On balance, I think this development will still outperform because it ticks so many boxes and will be extremely popular with parents aiming at the two reputable primary schools within the one kilometer radius. Next, not too far away, we have Lentor Modern located at Lentor Central in the OCR. This will be a mixed development that is seamlessly integrated with the Lentor MRT station. Residents can look forward to the convenience of having a wide range of F&B and retail options at their doorstep, including a supermarket and childcare facilities. If you look at the URA master plan, the entire Lentor Hills estate is set to be transformed with another 8 to 10 residential developments to be developed in the future. Goko Land will be spearheading this transformation with Lentor Modern with three 25-storey towers comprising around 600 units. Given an estimated break-even price of around 1,900 per square feet, we think the expected launch price will be in the 2,001 to 2,300 per square feet range. One thing I really like about Lentor Modern is that it will have the first mobile advantage amongst the other 8 to 10 residential plots. In addition, it will be the only mixed development in the entire estate. On the other hand, 2,001 to 2,003 per square feet is not exactly cheap for an OCR development. Overall, I think it remains to be seen how this quaint neighborhood will transform in time to come. Third, coming to the RCR, we have two new parcels of land at Slim Barracks Rice, of which the bigger plot will be Slim Barracks Rice Residences. It is conveniently located just a short 5 minutes walk to Buona Vista MRT, which is the interchange for the East-West and Circle Line. It is also zoned as a mixed-use development with commercial units on the first level. Developed by homegrown developer EL Development, this project is expected to yield around 265 units. Investment demand is extremely strong in the area, as can be seen from one North Eden next door, which is fully sold within a year. This is due to the quality tenant pool in the one North Innovation District, comprising of Biopolis, Fusionopolis, Mediapolis, Science Park, and so many more. With a break-even price coming close to 2,000 per square feet, we think the expected launch price will be in the range of 2002 to 2400 per square feet. From an investment point of view, I like the strong rental yield in the area. One thing I don't quite like is the relatively small plot of land with only 265 units. We have to see how the developer can efficiently utilize the land to provide more holistic facilities. Next up, let's take a look at another mixed-use development located at Jalan Anak Bukit, which is connected to the Beauty World MRT via an underground pedestrian link. The development will have an integrated transport hub, as well as more than 20,000 square meters of civic, retail and F&B spaces. It is also within 1 km to Pei Hua Presbyterian Primary and MGR's Primary. Developed by FI's organization, it can potentially yield up to 700 residential units and 150 service residences. Now, even though Far East bought the land cheap with an estimated break-even price of around 1,600 plus per square feet, 
I wouldn't be surprised if this developer decides to price the units from 2300 per square feet onwards. One thing I like about this development is its seamless integration to multiple transport nodes and amenities. An additional bonus is that the upcoming Cross Island Line will likely interchange at King Albert Park Station just one stop away. However, Jalan Anna Bukit will likely be one of the last few plots of land in the area which already saw quite a number of developments in recent years. I certainly hope the developer will be sensitive in its pricing during the launch so everyone can go home happy. Finally, coming to the CCR, we have an upcoming launch in the prime central business district at Marina View. It is located right next to the Shenton Way MRT on the Thompson East Coast Line. Developed by Malaysia Lister Group IOI Properties, this white site is expected to yield 905 private residential homes, 540 hotel rooms and 2,000 square meters of commercial space. Interestingly, IOI Properties is the only developer that put in the bid for this land at 1379 PSF PPR, which many analysts noted was on the low side. With an estimated break-even price of 2,300 per square feet, the developer is able to start pricing this luxury CBD development from around 2,600 PSF onwards, which is considered attractive given that many upcoming OCR and RCR developments are already approaching this price range. If the developer indeed chooses to price this sensitively at launch, then I think there is a good potential for prices to gradually step up from launch towards TOP. However, there is still a certain element of uncertainty as we do not know whether the CBT will ever go back to its vibrancy during the pre-COVID days. Alright, thanks for staying with me till the end. If you have enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you can help to click on the like and subscribe buttons to show your support for our channel. Or if you are planning for your next purchase in the near future and would like to have a more complete analysis, feel free to reach out to me as always. Till the next one, bye!